Hello students, in this video we will quickly see what is Newton Rapson method for finding the roots and then we will write a simple program in MATLAB implementing Newton Rapson method. So let's see, we already know that Newton Rapson method can be used for solving both algebraic and transcendental equations and for the illustration purpose I have used this function like I want to find out the root y is equal to fx which is equal to x square minus 17 equal to 0. So I am interested in finding out the root of this equation. Now indirectly you can see that you will find out the value of under root 70 if you find the value of roots for this equation. So this is the program which I used to plot this graph and I paste it over here. So as you know that uh, the newton Raphson method uses the successive approximation which is given by this xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn upon f dash x f dash xn. So obviously what you need for starting the newton Raphson method you need an initial approximation x0 then only you can put the initial approximation and then start the iteration. So it is uh, very important to note that the newton Raphson formula that is this formula converges provided this x0 is sufficiently close to the root of the equation as x0 and then you will start this process this iteration process i will not go through how this formula is derived because our aim is to write the matlab code a simple matlab code for the newton raphson method but i'll uh, tell you that uh, how uh, this successive iteration proceeds geometrically so let's see by this figure like if i want to uh, find out the root I have plotted and I can see that here um, uh, this is cutting the x-axis so we are interested in finding out this value suppose that this value is my desired root p now for starting the newton Raphson method what you need to do is choose x0 so for choosing x0 let uh, I choose it very uh, near to this root uh, suppose I choose this as my x0 okay now what is uh, does this Newton Raphson method this iteration do is that as uh, I write it as x0 this is my initial choice then for calculating x0 what uh, does this geometrically mean it will make a tangent at this point and then it will see where it is crossing the x-axis so you can see this is our uh, x-axis where this tangent crosses the x-axis so this will be our x1 so if you put x0 the value you get is x1 so th th geometrically you can see where the tangent is cutting this x-axis is x1 now during the second iteration what it does it will uh, see this is our my x fx0 and this is my fx1 then it will go to this point and again it will draw a tangent over here and then it will see where it cuts the x-axis suppose that this is my second iteration x2 now again it will go above and then draw a tangent and then you can see how it is approaching towards the desired root this is our desired root and by this uh, process that drawing that choosing x0 go, seeing uh, where is fx0 and then drawing a tangent uh, where it cut, uh, cuts the x-axis is our first iteration and then again it will draw a tangent over here this is x2 and again it will uh, do the same process until it reach this point the desired root p so you can see that the rate of convergence is uh, uh, very uh, like it is it has a second order of convergence and which is faster than the bisection method so it uh, 
converges more faster than the bisection method but this choice you must be careful about this choice of x naught sometimes if you choose x naught very far away then you can see that um, the newton raphson formula may not converge so uh, let us see how to uh, write a program in matlab for this and this is uh, a very simple uh, for programming uh, because just we need to use this formula and update every time with the new value so let's see so firstly i'll describe the algorithm and then i'll go to the matlab program so you have already seen that uh, we are interested in finding the roots of uh, the equation something like this in our case i have seen that this was x square uh, 17 is equal to 0 so first of all we need to give an initial approximation x naught to start the process now uh, we we also give the tolerance value like that uh, okay uh, for the successive like you have calculated the uh, successive iteration and you have subtracted those successive iteration and if it is less than this tolerance value then come out of the program and show the output and this is another way of stopping criteria that you set the iterations like uh, 200 iterations or 30 iterations or 50 iteration whatever you want so these are for the stopping uh, criteria now uh, we should display the output that is x1 or the message of failure that means that you have chosen some wrong x naught or the newton raphson method is not converging so uh, we are interested in either this show x1 x1 is mainly uh, this xn plus 1 so uh, we have given it a value x1 and or show a message of failure so this step uh, is like for the stopping criteria while i is less than we set i is equal to 1 and i is less than suppose you have uh, born to do 100 iteration so it is less than 100 then do this step like uh, you you know already know f x naught because you have initially chosen some x naught then calculate f x naught divided by f dash x naught and then give it a value calculate this and give it to x1 now this is another stopping criteria in my programming i have used this stopping criteria only that this one relative error that if uh, x1 minus x0 divided by x1 all in mod is less than my tolerance value just go out of the loop and print the value of x1 so i uh, i will use this stopping criteria i will not use this one like up to 100 or 200 i want this much iteration so you can use the stopping criteria any one of it and then what it is doing it is giving uh, like every time we calculate x1 give x0 the new value of x1 whatever you calculated over here give the value of x1 to x0 and then again find this until this criteria is satisfied so uh, let's see how to write a program in MATLAB so this is very simple program for the newton raphson method so uh, I have started with writing sims x so this creates a symbolic variable x if you don't write it like if you check by putting percent sign if you comment it you will see that it will display an error message that it is um, uh, the value or x is undefined so uh, you need to give this sims x then you have um, what you have done you have created a variable which is equal to uh, x square minus 17 in this we are interested in finding the root so this is the mainly the function for you uh, for which you want to find the root and now we initialized error as 10 because we want to go to this uh, while loop we want to start the while loop so we have initialized this error with the random value like 10 or 100 mm, this is and then we ask the user to give two things firstly the initial guess that is x naught and the tolerance that how much error is allowed now this is doing what f is equal to inline a 
it is uh, like uh, another name of uh, uh, another way of creating the anonymous function the uh, the usefulness of this is now the function see this a is declared over here and f is what f is in line of a so now f uh, if you t uh, ask f1 then it will directly calculate 1 square minus 17 so earlier you cannot write that a1 this will give you an error message but since if you uh, have written f is equal to in line of a it will allow this type like if you want to calculate f of x0 it will give you the answer but a of x0 it will say that there is error so you need to convert it into the inline function then what have you done since you need uh, f x naught divided by f dash x naught if you remember the successive approximation formula for the newton raphson method you need a differentiation of f also so what it is doing now it is differentiating sim of a it is again creating a symbolic variable a now you cannot differentiate this inline function so uh, it is using a just remember that it doesn't uh, uh, differentiate the uh, anonymous function this is creating a anonymous function so it will not differentiate so you have to use this a so it will find the differentiation of this function that will be equal to 2x and then again it is converting like d is taking the uh, is is equal to in line of diff this is again creating the anonymous function now this will allow you to take this kind of value d of 1 d of 2 if you write this this will give you the output like 2 into 1 it will give you answer 2 and 2 into 2 it will give you answer 4 so for this purpose this uh, is given now see uh, we will go to this loop and it will check while error obviously we have given error 10 and our tolerance will be low uh, you can give it as 10 to the power minus 5 minus 7 whatever is your requirement so this 10 will be greater than 10 to the power minus 4 so what it will do it will execute this statement which is inside the while loop so what it is doing it is doing x1 is a variable which is with whose value is equal to x0 minus fx0 divided by dx0 so now you can see what is the importance of this inline now you can take this type like f at find the value of f at x0 divided by find the value of d at x0 so it is uh, finding the value of f that is our interest function divided by differentiation of it at x0 and then it is uh, giving the value of this expression to x1 okay so now uh, we are calculating the error which is the um, relative error that is absolute value of x1 minus x0 divided by x1 so this error and uh, the error will be calculated and it will be kept in the variable err then the next step what we are doing we are giving the value of x1 to x0 like giving its value to x0 and then again we will go check the loop that what is happening so if the error is uh, now till now greater than tolerance it will again do come into this statement and execute them so this will repeat the process again and again until this error becomes less than the tolerance until that it will uh, be inside this loop and execute all these three statements and once it is done if it is uh, less than zero then it will come out of the loop and it will show this which is our uh, desired desired output so let's uh, copy paste this and uh, see in our MATLAB that uh, what does it gives. Okay, so this is the MATLAB program which uh, I have copy and pasted from uh, uh, that PowerPoint only. And then you can see 
that uh, when I run this program going to editor and uh, clicking on this it is asking for the initial guess so I give it 5 then it is asking and uh, enter allowed error so I enter 10 to the power minus 6 and I pressed enter so you can see that I am getting this root also you can see that uh, f is taking this inline function that is equal to x square minus 17 only this is into 10 to the power 1 so this is the same and differentiation dif is uh, this dif i just uh, uh, have not put a semicolon so it is showing the output uh, just to uh, give you an idea that what this DIFF is doing it is differentiating this function so this is 2x and then d will be again an inline function of carrying this DIF so after that you will see that you got this root so you can also check that under root of 17 is around this only thank you